Hey, how's it going? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Gabby and today I'm gonna be doing a video that I've been so excited to do because I've been wanting to make a video like this for years now, to be honest, and that is going to be books that have A24 vibes or alternatively books that I think read like A24 movies or books that should be adapted into A24 movies. If you're not too familiar with the movie and the film world, then you might not know what A24 means, but A24 is an American independent entertainment company and they specialize in film production and television production as well. And you might be familiar with some of the movies they've recently been putting out, like the most recent Everything Everywhere All at Once that just won Best Picture at the Oscars and their movie The Whale was also nominated at the Oscars. They have some really iconic horror movies like Hereditary, Midsommar, Bodies, Bodies, Bodies. Also one of my all-time favorites, The Killing of a Sacred Deer. But then they're also known to have some, you know, really beautiful coming-of-age movies like Lady Bird, like Moonlight, there's that movie mid-90s and Room. Most recently, I think A24 is starting to dip their toe into TV production as well, and they recently just came out with that new Netflix show called Beef that has Steven Yoon and Ali Wong in it, and that is like my current obsession right now. Like, I am absolutely loving that show so much. I feel like for me and for a lot of film lovers, I think anything that A24 puts out, it's almost a guarantee that it's gonna be something really great. It's just known that A24 has this really unique style that's unlike a lot of the other production companies out there, and I think they are mostly known for their really weird and kind of out there horror kind of stuff, and they're also really well known, I think, for their like beautiful kind of like coming of age, slow burn, kind of like indie films kind of vibes, and so these are gonna be books that I think kind of fall into those kinds of categories, and these are all going to be book recommendations that I think they not only kind of read like they could be an A24 movie, but I think it would also be really freaking cool to see these books get adapted adapted into A24 movies because in A24 we trust the most. And so this recommendation list is gonna have a broad range of books, much like the A24 is just very broad with the kind of movies they have. Starting off with one of my favorite weird horror books of all time, and that's Bunny by Mona Awad. I've been hearing that Bunny is currently being adapted for film, and I'm just like so nervous but so excited. Can you imagine an A24 movie of Bunny because, oh my gosh! And Bunny is just one of those really bizarre and strange horror books that I just absolutely love. It's about this girl who's going to college and she gets involved with this group of girls where everyone calls each other bunny and it's very like a cult in a way but then shit just gets really unhinged in this book in a way that I can't even explain to you because spoilers but oh my gosh this book is just so wild and so bizarre. It almost kind of gives me the same feeling as that movie The Lobster you know by A24 because The Lobster is also really weird and it kind of involves you know animals in a way. It's just if A24 is putting out out really weird movies like The Lobster, I can easily see them taking something like Bunny and making something really cool out of it, but I do think Bunny really does read like an A24 film to me. One of my other recent favorite horror books that definitely reads like an A24 is Mother Thing. This one is about this woman who her mother-in-law has passed away, but she's starting to feel like she's being haunted by her mother-in-law, and this book honestly, like the horror in this book has a lot more to do with like grief and like real life scary things. There's also, you know, another book that comes to mind right away is Our Wives Under the Sea because both of these are similar in the sense that they both deal with a lot of grief and like people changing and that's like the most scary thing about these horror books. And in Our Wives Under the Sea, we're following this couple, these two women who are married and one of them has to go on this like submarine that goes underwater but then it like loses connection to the outside world and they get lost for like six months or something like that at the bottom of the ocean and then when her wife comes back, she's just not really the same and she doesn't really know what happened to her down there but it's all kind of like mysterious and kind of depressing and sad but also like really horrific because there's things happening to her that she doesn't really understand and I feel like both of these stories are just so unique in their horror in the sense that it's like it's more about the grief that these characters are experiencing than anything and I think A24 movies especially their horror it usually does such a great job with that like taking things like grief and showing how like that's the true horror 
especially with movies like Hereditary come to mind, you know, I actually haven't even seen Hereditary because I, I've seen, I know the spoilers, okay? I know what happens in Hereditary and I do not want to be traumatized like that and so I haven't seen it, but I know enough about this movie that I feel like there's some similarities that I can draw there, you know, with like taking grief and how that's like the most horrific thing. Another book that I would highly recommend is Near the Bone by Christina Henry because this one is about a woman and her super abusive husband. They are living on the top of this mountain by themselves and they're pretty much isolated from the rest of the world and they start to think that there might be some kind of crazy monster creature lurking out there, but they can't see it. Like they don't know how big it is. They can only hear it. And this book is one of my favorite horror horror novels, I feel like I could compare the isolation in this book to like that of Room, but then also like the monster aspects of this book definitely remind me of Bird Box because it's something that they like can't exactly see. They don't know exactly what they're afraid of, but they just know that they're afraid. And Bird Box was not an A24 movie, but Room definitely was, and Room actually was at the Oscars as well. Like Room is one of my all-time favorite uh, book to movie adaptations that A24 has ever come out with. It's one of my favorite horror books and I love when monster horror is done in this way where like the characters can't really see what they're afraid of. It's just, it's so ambiguous and mysterious and I just really, really dig it. Another book that gives me major A24 vibes would actually be The Cabin at the End of the World by Paul Tremblay and I know you might be thinking, yeah, this actually did get adapted into a movie pretty recently. To be honest, I was not a huge fan of the movie adaptation. I, I just did not like what they did with the story and like how they changed some things. I just wasn't a big fan of it and I've always thought that this book was really actually similar to The Killing of a Sacred Deer which is like an A24 film you know and I just always imagined in my head that A24 would be the company that I would trust the most to make this into a movie because I really do genuinely feel like this reads like an A24 screenplay like it really does and this story if you are unfamiliar with it it's about this gay couple named Eric and Andrew and they have this adopted daughter when they're going to stay at this cabin that's like out in the middle of the woods and then these four people show up and they tell them that the world is going to end unless they do something that is just absolutely horrific and you know it is so much like the killing of a sacred deer because the killing of a sacred deer the family has to deal with a very similar situation to break this curse that's like been put on their family and the vibes of these two are just I like iconic they are so similar to each other oh, I would give anything to see the cabin at the end of the world be adapted into an A24 movie but you know we didn't get that. We got this other movie adaptation by M. Night Shyamalan and I personally just wasn't a big fan of it but I still think this book is worth the recommendation for if you want to read something that reads like an A24 film because it really does. There's also the book Moon of the Crusted Snow and this one is definitely that like kind of quiet eerie, snowy, isolated vibes, just like Near the Bone, kind of. But this one, I could almost compare it to the movies, you know, like, It Comes at Night. It has that, like, very mysterious aspect to it, and in the story, Moon of the Crusted Snow, we're just following a community of people who, they lose power in their community, and then they're trying to figure out if, like, there's something bigger going on in the world. Like, is it just their community that lost power, or is it, like, the entire world? Maybe it's the very beginning of the apocalypse kind of story, and I think this book is just so brilliant. I think it would be perfect as an A24 movie because, I don't know, I feel like A24 would do really well with that like eerie, mysterious kind of isolation, like they're feeling doomed and it's like the beginning of the apocalypse. I don't know, I feel like they would just do that so perfectly. Another one that would be really freaking cool is And Then I Woke Up by Malcolm Devlin and this one is kind of like a zombie horror, but I feel like this one is zombie horror if A24 was trying to do zombie horror, if you know what I'm trying to say. Because like the zombie horror in this book is very subtle it's not like the typical zombie books where like the horror is just like really in your face and it's about like the start of the apocalypse and all that. This one is like the zombie apocalypse but it actually has a really unique spin and a really unique take on the zombie apocalypse that I just think A24 would eat this shit up. Like I think this would make such a freaking good A24 movie. I would 100% agree with there's a little blurb on the back that says this is a beautiful exploration of the seductive power of narrative and the toxic influence of propaganda. Very much agree with that. Like, this is not your typical zombie horror book. This was a horror that just felt so much more thought-provoking and interesting than the usual zombie horror, but there were still, like, fun zombie horror moments in this book. It's, like, the perfect balance. And then as far as horror goes, I would also recommend Where the Reckoning Comes by Latanya McQueen because this book is one that, even when I was reading it, I felt like it was reading like a movie. 
It just felt very cinematic while I was reading this book. I don't know why, but this one is about this woman who's coming back to her small segregated town where she grew up because her white best friend is going to be getting married and her best friend is going to be getting married on this plantation that has been turned into a resort. This book is just all kinds of uncomfortable, you know, because when this woman goes back to this town, things just don't really feel right, you know, and like everyone who's working at this resort is black and she's starting to question like what's really going on at this resort and it's just so subtly creepy in this book and this book I feel like does a really great job of like not only making you care about the characters but also it's just so subtly creepy and like there's so much great social commentary brimming like just below the surface which is also like one of my favorite things in horror. It feels very Jordan Peele in that way where this author just so subtly can like comment on different things in society without it being too like in your face but there's also like a genuinely good romance happening in this book as well like I really just feel like this book is something that has it all for me and I would absolutely kill I would love to see A24 make this into a movie I think it would be so great I can already imagine like the set designs it would just be so spooky and I do think that this book just has that readability you know like I really do think this one reads like it's a film and then to get into some of the more like kind of coming of age slice of life more book recommendations that feel more like ladybird or different things like that I would highly recommend Aristotle and Dante discover this secrets of the universe. This one definitely reminds me of Lady Bird in a lot of ways because, you know, in this story we're following a young boy named Aristotle and he's kind of, you know, figuring out his life while he's in high school. He's figuring out what he wants to do for the rest of his life and he's also just trying to like navigate how he feels about things and how he feels about the world and it is very coming of age. This one also, it takes place in the 80s in Texas and, you know, it also has to do with him trying to figure out if he might have romantic feelings for his best friend Dante and what that means for him. Him. And this one is for sure one of my favorite books of all time. I've read this book a number of times now. It's honestly like one of my biggest like comfort rereads and I know that Aristotle and Dante is actually being made into a movie adaptation right now. I'm not entirely sure like which company is attached to producing it. I don't really know, but I would love, 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 love more than anything to see A24 make this into a film because I can just see the vibes now. Oh my gosh, can you imagine the little like red truck and the kind of like 80s Texas vibes? And then these two boys just like finding each other and oh my god, it would just be everything. It would really be everything. But I do think this is another one of those books that it just reads in such a cinematic way. Like it's just so visual. Like I can easily picture this being made into a film and I just... If you haven't read it, I highly, highly, highly recommend. Something else that also kind of gave me a ladybird vibe, but it's a little bit more adult, would be Honey Girl, because this one is definitely not a romance book. I know this book kind of gets marketed as a romance book, but I would say that this book reads a lot more just like, you know, coming of age for this woman. It kind of feels like Ladybird, but like just a little bit of an older vibe, like a woman who's in, either in her late 20s or early 30s, who's starting to come of age and starting to learn things about herself. And there is a relationship that she starts to develop with this woman in this book And she's starting to realize things about herself and her sexuality throughout this book But I also just think this one is a really great kind of coming-of-age story with just subtle hints of romance throughout it That I think it does read very much like a film and I would love to see this one get adapted because I wasn't the biggest Biggest fan of this story like as a book, but I could definitely see this being made into a really great film And then some other books that I would definitely Definitely recommend to check out would include The Great Alone by Kristen Hanna as well as The Four Winds by Kristen Hanna and these are both books that kind of have not only like beautiful coming-of-age storylines but they're also kind of like a bit of historical fiction as well which A24 has dipped their toe into some historical fiction like Minari for example is one of my most recent absolute favorite movies from A24 and I feel like both of these books would kind of give a similar vibe to like Minari in a way because both of these stories, you know, we're following these families. I think in The Great Alone, it takes place in the 70s in Alaska. It takes place in 1974 and we're following from the perspective of a young girl. I want to say she's between like 12 and 14 years old and she's going to be moving with her family out into the middle of nowhere in Alaska. And this book just has the best Alaska vibes atmosphere. I feel like this book reads like a movie. I don't even know how else to explain it. It is so visual. Like I feel like after reading this book, I feel like I've been to Alaska, even though I 
haven't, you know? Like, that's how strong the visuals are in this book for me. Like, I just think this book was so freaking beautiful. It was so well done. And I would absolutely love to see this be made into an A24 movie. I can just see it in my brain. It's like, it would be like Minari, but like different, but like it would have that vibe to it, you know? Another book that I would highly recommend that has like not only beautiful coming of age, but it's also just really centered on family and grief and sadness is The Death of Vivek Oji. This is one that I would definitely recommend if you were like a fan of the movie Moonlight from A24, you know, the um, best picture winner at the Oscars. Moonlight is like such a beautiful story that's like coming of age. It has queer characters. It's just one of those really, really powerful and moving films, you know, from A24. It's definitely one of my favorites. And this book, it just definitely gives me all of those same vibes from Moonlight because like Moonlight, this one also has queer characters of color who are just going through it. It's brutal. It's sad. And this story is really rooted in family and how sometimes you can't feel like you can even be yourself even around your family and how sad that is. But I feel like this book really moved me the same way that a movie like Moonlight did. It just has those really beautiful like characters, really strong family connections, and it just makes you care so much. And this is a book where at the end of The Death of Vivek OG, I like sobbed after this book. Like this book really got to me on an emotional level. I feel like this book, honestly, it even hit me even harder than Moonlight. I don't remember crying too much when watching Moonlight, but this one, this book stays in my brain after all these years. And so I would definitely recommend this if you're looking for something that's going to be very hard-hitting, coming-of-age, powerful family kind of story, this is definitely the book for you. And then the last book recommendation that I have is kind of a little bit of a sci-fi recommendation because you might know the movie Ex Machina that A24 has come out with. This is honestly one of my favorite A24 movies that I've ever seen. Like, I'm obsessed with Ex Machina. This one came out in 2014 and it's been a while since I've watched it. Like, I honestly want to re-watch it. But a sci-fi book recommendation that I have that I I think would be kind of comparable to Ex Machina would be The Echo Wife by Sarah Gailey. So the movie Ex Machina, it's about this young guy named Caleb and he basically wins this competition to go to this like private retreat that's like in the middle of nowhere and he finds out that he's going to be a part of this experiment where he has to interact with this really intelligent AI that's kind of in the body of this like beautiful robot girl. <laughs> and it's just very strange, you know, it's very unique and from what I remember about this movie, it is pretty light on the sci-fi aspects of it like the, the sci-fi is not too intense and the echo wife is so interesting and unique as well because the echo wife is about this woman who works in science and she's like an award-winning scientist and she's able to figure out how to clone herself and so the book is about her clone and how her clone starts having an affair with her husband and then now her husband is dead <laughs> and so this one not only has those like light sci-fi elements you know because of the clone thing but then it also does kind of read like a mystery thriller at times as well but this one's very like slow burning just like I think the way that Ex Machina is you know they're very like these kind of quiet subtle kind of like slow burn creepy movies and stories like it's just very interesting and I do think they are very similar to each other like I can totally see the Echo Wife being made into an A24 production very much like Ex Machina I feel like it would have a lot of those similar vibes all right so those are all of the book recommendations that I have for you today that remind me of A24 films and that I desperately want to be made into A24 films you'll have to let me know what you think of this style of recommendation video if you're also like a big A24 fan I would love to to know if you'd like to see you know a round two of like book recommendations for books that are like a24 i would also love to know if you would like to see me kind of attempt a reading vlog in the future of like reading books that are recommended for fans of a24 movies one of my friends on youtube ashley from ashley's little library she made this video i want to say it was like last year and the video was about reading books that had a24 vibes but then she filmed the video in a style of like an a24 movie and i thought that was one of my favorite videos that i've ever seen Scene, and it was so freaking cool and so I'll have her video linked down below if you'd like to check that out but I thought that was freaking fantastic and yeah let me know just what you think overall of this video in general if you are a fan of like a24 movies then let me know what are some of your favorite a24 movies that are out there because it is so hard for me to pick favorites I feel like every single year I'm always impressed by the stuff that they're putting out so a24 really like they never miss for me for the most part so yeah let me know all of your thoughts down below if you've read any of these books let me know if you agree if they 
they if you also think they do have like those A24 vibes. And if you're completely unfamiliar with A24, then let me know if you're intrigued by watching any of these films now that I've mentioned them, because I would love to know that as well. <laughs> Thank you so, so much for watching as always, and I will see you very soon with another video. Bye!